What is up? I'm Moana Tortuga, and today we're doing a Unified Minds opening, uh, but with Hidden Fates coming out soon, I want to just kind of like announce that, uh, you know, I kind of want to do a giveaway for, we'll give away one of those three pack um, Mew collection boxes or the Mewtwo one, um, and we'll probably do it maybe over the weekend, do like the giveaway video and then announce it during the week. Um, I have most of my products being shipped to me. I'll probably pick up some at some local retail stores, uh, but I'm not sure when I'll be able to ship it out. But um, yeah, I just want to throw that out there. I'm so hyped for this set. I feel like I've been saying that for, for so long and it's finally coming. Uh, really excited. And I just want to address a couple comments that people have been posting for some of our Hidden Fates content. Uh, I would love it when we can kind of like have a good discussion about different things. So I just want to bring up a couple of those topics. Um, uh, let's just see. I'm just going to quick do it check uh so pokemon lover 95 actually pointed out to me a collector's cash uh you still can get some good pretty good deals and actually let me just switch to this screen real quick so this is the website thanks pokemon uh thanks for the, sh the information and i'll post the link to his channel as well as the link to this page down below and yeah so you can still get the etb for 43 which is pretty good uh, definitely, I think MSRP will be 50 like so you can expect that at like a retail store and everywhere else online it's over that and there's like in my opinion zero reason why to pay over MSRP. Uh, the tins, the Charizard tin is over MSRP so I, I feel like the retail store, I'm not sure how this will go but the Charizard ones I feel like will be snatched up super quickly. The other ones you get for 15 which in my opinion is great um, comparing to Game Nerds where I feel like it's the cheapest everywhere. Um, you know, that's that's what they, they're going right ahead for, like, the three-pack. Uh, and then the other stuff is, unfortunately, out of stock. But there's, so there is some still some limited stock. And I feel like that brings up another topic of, you know, uh, yes, there might be a shortage in the near term. But when you think about it, like, oh, when Unbroken Bonds came out, we thought everything was out of print. And then, like, boom, all right, there's more. There's uh, more, um, more supply all of a sudden. So, yes, things feel like they're tight. I really want to urge like yes it might be super tempting maybe just because there's a supply shortage but i feel very strongly that there will just be whether it needs to be another print run or just more distribution waves i'm sure it'll come and then prices will kind of flatline well not flatline but kind of like balance out to where they should be uh and then just to hit a couple other comments because i do think that some people brought up some really good points oh man uh like um aquamarine and i think someone else uh, was saying like how the prices in australia are actually like it was almost like seems like they're double i've I feel bad. <laughs> That's terrible. Um, and there was a couple other good points, and I do want to kind of like give credit to who mentioned it. So just bear with me for saying, uh, Michelle Butler. Uh, reason why Prudor is sold out. Oh, unless the leaf mentioned game nerds. I had no idea. Like, yeah, his, uh, you know, having hundred thousand times the subs probably makes a big difference. <laughs> like, I feel like I've been hyping up, but um, yeah, definitely. He, he, him just mentioning that will probably obviously have a huge uh, impact to that, and I wouldn't mean I wouldn't take this experience to mean that oh let me go pre-order the next set which is like cosmic something cosmic eclipse like not even knowing what's in there uh, like I might pre-order like a case but beyond that probably nothing more unless more evidence comes out that it's going to be super hype like hidden fates. Um, yeah, you can't or Mike Crone. Uh, had a comment and I thought it was really good. There will be people, once people like kind of like crack packs and then a lot of uh, cards will enter the secondary market, not many vendors will take the leap of faith and say like, oh, we'll, we'll pull this, you know, shiny charger, so we'll just put it out now. Or if they do take that leap of faith, they're going to put outrageous price like that $400 and $500 ones we saw yesterday. So I think he had a very good point. You know, prices will kind of balance back out. This is just kind of like that, you know, not the calm before so storm, but this is like that the the calm before the FOMO storm where everyone's like oh my gosh I, I'm too late and then they'll make uh, make purchases that are unnecessary spending more money than they really need to uh, so yeah shout out to all you guys thanks for leaving all those great comments and um, yeah let's get into this opening all right what we came here to do we got nine packs of unified minds <clears throat> Your two account is still at four. Reverse to two account is zero. Dragonite GX count is also at zero. Although I feel I hear nothing about that Pokemon. For someone that can do 270 damage, I have yet to face it in PTCGI. I've yet to pull one too. So frustration on a number of fronts as far as the Dragonite GX goes. But uh, let's get into our first pack. And uh, yeah, so we'll do a giveaway of one of those pin collection boxes. Uh, we'll try to have it shipped out as early or as 
close to release as possible so stay tuned for that probably do that on the weekend maybe saturday or sunday and um yeah so all right no tortuga in the first pack but uh so excited for hidden fates and there's one more thing i want to say but i can't remember what it was all right so for our first pack we got a knocked owl for the reverse and then a medicham for a regular rare but thanks again to all the people that kind of like left comments. I love it when we can kind of like have a good conversation about uh, the topic at hand. And yesterday's videos was a good example of that. And shout out to everyone um, that kind of contributed back to that. Here. All right, let's see. We got a Swadloon, a Why Not. I keep, can't see my piles. And then. Oh, I actually pulled, cracked a egg in Pokemon Go and got a shiny Why Not yesterday, which was awesome. Sawaddle, Skaroopy, Wimpod, a Slaycoth, Salandit. Ooh, U-Turn Board. This card's actually pretty good. Not as good as a Skateboard, but, uh, or it doesn't go, ooh, gosh, this Pokemon has been owning me. I posted a video about how I run a Reshizard deck right now in PTCGO, and this thing one-hit KOs it with one energy on a stage one and sure like it brings it down to 10 hp and it'll probably get knocked out but who cares you they just traded one prize pokemon for a three prize one so absolutely insane that deck is specifically designed to take out Reshizard, um and it does thoroughly I'm not sure how good it is in other matchups, like if you're not facing Reshizard, you kind of have to have some, I think uh, some people were mixing in like the Breloom stuff, which is pretty cool as well. Oh, I love the meta right now, like, I, I wonder if it has a lot to do with the Guzmas, the lack of Guzmas right now, but I feel like everything, there's so many viable things, and it's just really exciting. Alright, we got a Magnemite, Slaycoth, a Magnazone, he looks like a... It's like a little army right there. And then a Drapion. So yeah, stay tuned for the video over the weekend and um, we'll kind of spell out the rules for the giveaway. And maybe after, so quickly after that we'll do, so since there's two different collect, uh, pin collections, we'll do a another giveaway soon after for the other one. And as always, like yeah, we'll have more details about how to enter the giveaway over the weekend. Uh, obviously, like you, you will have to be a sub. So if you're not already a sub, definitely hit that sub button as well. So we got Skaroopy, Wimpod again, Slaycoth, Salandit, Formantis, and a Crystal. Not familiar with that Pokemon. Hmm, this is a bit of a rough opening. I feel like it's, uh, despite the great pull rates of Unified Minds, things have been a little cold lately. And the uh, places, the vendors that I got the the Hidden Fate stuff from, I hope they do a pretty good job shipping. Definitely on Friday. Oh, actually, no, someone, I apologize, I don't remember the username, but uh, someone left a comment saying that, oh, they're taking Friday off to go to find the stuff. I think it was one of the, the viewers in Australia, which, yeah, sounds like prices are super expensive there. Um, but yeah, I wonder if I'm going to do something similar. Just in, Oh, okay, we got finally got something. We got Caldeo GX. And I really like this card. I have not faced this, but this is another one that will absolutely wreck my Reshizard deck. Because at that point you're uh, only using Volcanion. Because it does prevent all damage from Pokemon GX. And Sonic Edge would one hit KO the Volcanion. Even, even uh, wait, uh, sex isn't affected by your opponent's text damage isn't affected by any effects on your own active Pokemon. That doesn't say ignore weakness, so I think this would still one hit KO it. So a very good card. I do want to try a deck out like that. But uh, there's so many non-GX Pokemon decks. Base decks that I love. I think it's a good mix of different stuff. So as far as like, let's say you're going to like Worlds or something, like, oh, what is the deck to use? I feel like that's a very tough question to answer. Because there's so many different things you need to compete against. And, uh, all right, let's see, we got Misprit, Mana, Pikachu, Bidoof, Cosmog, Magmar, a cute little Snover, and Garvantula. So yeah, right now in State of Pokemon, there's so many exciting things. Did a 
video earlier about Pokemon Masters and how they have like 5 million pre-registers and I think that's a very good sign. In fact, like I almost would prefer to hear 5 over 10 and so if you haven't seen that and if you're interested in Pokemon Masters, definitely go check that. Oh yes, there we go. We got our 5th Tortuga. Oh my gosh, I, this is still boggles my mind. A uncommon, we still only have 5 of them. But um, this guy deserves a perfect fit. And to go into our row of Tortugas, Tortuga number five in the bag. Um, all right, this is uh, turning into a great opening. Very suddenly, things <laughs> our luck can change that quickly. Recycle Energy, very cool card. But yeah, Pokemon Masters, um, I think it's a very positive sign. I go into some depth about it. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. We got a double. Our reverse is a Riolu, and then a Valley for a hollow. Alright, we got two packs left. Right, maybe we can actually focus on the pack for once. So we did get one Tortuga, one GX. Can we get a little bit more? Especially this, this is a Unified Minds opening, like, right? This should have very good pull rates. We got a Drifloom, Dewbiter, Cryogonal, Marini, Formantis, a Archen is our reverse, and then, oh my gosh, this thing is terrifying. Licky, licky. All right, on to our last pack. So yeah, so, <laughs> I feel like we talked about a million different things. Uh, do a giveaway this weekend, stay tuned for that. Pokemon Masters, 5 million pre-registers, which I think is great. Uh, Hidden Fates on Friday. Anything else? Is there anything else I'm missing? Right. Cherish Ball, Tauros, Finian, Stunfisk, a Gibble, a Lickitung, Dwebble, a Thunderous, and for our last pack we have... Ah, Meloetta. But, um, yeah, thanks to everyone that did kind of like contribute to that conversation about Hidden Fates. Uh, happy, always happy to see what, how other people's thoughts are. And so thanks for all the people that contributed to that conversation. But, um, so pretty good opening. We did get another Tortuga to add to our account at 5 and Caldeo GX. Very cool card. And, um, yes, that's it for today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.